All right, so we're going to talk about boiling point. And boiling point is, uh, is the time and place where the uh, liquid phase of the, of the substance goes into a gaseous phase of that substance. We're going to call that the time when it does that the boiling point. All right, that happens when the vapor pressure um, equals the atmospheric pressure. So the vapor pressure of the substance equals the atmospheric pressure of the, of the uh, atmosphere around it. So let's take this beaker of water as a, an example. Okay, so at the surface of this water, um, at the surface of this liquid water, the water molecules are constantly going back and forth from the liquid phase to the gaseous phase, back and forth, back and forth. And if I increase the temperature, that um, vapor pressure is going to continuously increase. The vapor pressure meaning the pressure of the water molecules going into the atmospheric pressure, or the atmos atmosphere around it, sorry. So if I continuously increase this to the point where this vapor pressure e will equals the atmospheric pressure around it, we're going to call that boiling. And what's going to happen at that point, um, not only are these uh, surface water molecules going to go into the atmosphere, but these guys down here are going to be released into the atmosphere as well, which is what causes that, that rolling boil or that, uh, the bubbles from the bottom is the gaseous water molecules going and releasing from the, from the liquid, liquid substance. So <clears throat> understanding this definition when vapor pressure equals atmospheric pressure, we're going to talk about the boiling point in different areas of, on Earth. Okay, so at sea level, where we typically are, um, where I live in DC, I live at sea level. So the, the atmospheric pressure, or the pressure, air pressure around me, is one atmosphere. Okay, the boiling point at the at one atmospheric pressure is 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, so um, let's say I were to leave DC and go into climb Mount Everest. So I'm climbing up to the top of Mount Everest. That's me with my American flag, and um, that happens. To the atmosphere is actually the the atmospheric pressure decreases, meaning the number of air particles on top of me is actually less than they were at sea level. What's going to happen to the boiling point? Because vapor pressure has to equal atmospheric pressure, the atmospheric pressure lowers. That means the vapor pressure doesn't have to go up as high. That means the boiling point is also going to lower. Okay. Actually, in Denver, also known as a mile high city, the boiling point of water is not 100 degrees Celsius. It's 95 degrees Celsius. And actually, on top of Mount Everest, is even more drastic. The boiling point of water there is only 69 degrees Celsius, if you can believe that, because it, it's so, so, so high and the atmospheric pressure is so, so, so low. All right, let's do the opposite. Let's say we go down to the, the lowest point on the planet, which is the Dead Sea. The atmospheric pressure there is extremely high, meaning we have a lot of air molecules pouring down on top of us. It's very, um, it's very high pressure down there. The boiling point, too, will also be much higher because it's going to take a lot of energy for us to reach that atmospheric pressure, for that vapor pressure of the, of the water to reach that atmospheric pressure surrounding us. So near the Dead Sea, the boiling point is much, much higher. It's around 176 degrees Celsius, extremely high. So let's think about how this might play effect in other areas. Um, let's talk about, let's say, pressure cookers. If some of you guys have parents have pressure cookers at home, um, typically, or these rice cookers, what happens in those cookers is that we increase the pressure within that cooker, okay? So if we're increasing the pressure, the boiling point is actually increasing so that water can get very, very hot within that rice cooker or pressure cooker. So we can actually cook things at very high temperatures, which is why they're so good and convenient to use when we're cooking. Um, so that's how pressure, uh, affects the boiling point of different substances.